Hey guys, it's Roxanne Lynch from RoxanneLynch.com. This is a terrific day with kind of a subject that you accidentally, sometimes on purpose, don't want to talk about, but you do. So, you know, let's just address the elephant in the room. What do you do when you want to quit or you want to change? or something's going on within your life. So my question to you and you guys are popping in is definitely, what do you do and how do you do it when you want to quit with class and you need a little bit of courage? So I am, you guys know that I love, um, I love to stimulate thought. I love to help you guys think outside the box. I like to shake up the snow globe a little bit. And this subject was actually, my mentor talked about it a couple days ago, but I've actually had several conversations with two or three different girls in the last 24 hours. So I thought, you know what? I need to share this out too. So I know that this might ruffle some feathers, but this also might give somebody a little bit of hope. Okay. So this is kind of a touchy subject. So let's jump into this. So what do you do when you're not happy anymore? Okay. And I just want to quickly say that this is my personal opinions. Yes, I've done a little bit of note taken just to make sure I can kind of stay on track. Some of this is by gut, heart, and instinct. Uh, some of this has been research and some of this has been some training that I've personally taken and experienced. So you guys can take it as it is. Maybe I can give some value and create some thoughts because you know what? We have to remember that we only have one life to live. We have one life to live that we get to remember, okay? Maybe there's a few blessed special people out there that somehow remember past lives, but I'm not one of them. Are you? <laughs> so let's jump into this. We have to remember, we have to be happy, okay? We have to be happy. And I'm not saying that, you know, we want to stimulate people and encourage people to be, you know, business hoppers like the Easter Bunny, boing, da, boing, da, boing, da, boing, house to house to house to house. Um, we don't want people to be jumpers. We don't want people to be um, moving around. But we have to remember, um, I think I took this in at last year's training in Austin, Texas. And I think it was Ray Higdon or it could have been someone else who said the average marketer changes anywhere from seven to ten times and has different businesses till they finally find the right fit. And I think business is kind of like vehicle shopping, okay? And I want you guys to really stop being mean to each other and stop, start being kind and understand just because someone bought a Honda doesn't mean they're going to drive a Honda for the rest of their lives, okay? Just because they may have bought a station wagon as a young family, that they're not going to keep that station wagon forever and ever and ever. We change, and as we grow and change, things within our lives are going to grow and change, including... The possible aspect of right now your current beloved business or the one that you're just hanging around with right now so we know that people quit their businesses for many many reasons maybe it is with customer service maybe your upline quit on you and they were your best friend so then you gave up the ghost too maybe you just didn't have the right training or support or maybe they wanted you to build the business in a way that just didn't seem to be a good fit for you. It wasn't something that felt natural and easy. Maybe their training required to be more extroverted or more reaching out and you're more introverted and you just want to, you know, have some quiet time at home and find a different way to market your business. Maybe they changed an ingredient. Maybe they changed um, the compensation plan or the delivery money was too much, my girlfriend said. So things change and as things change, we change and it has that ripple effect throughout all aspects um, of our business. So I first of all want to begin. So let's do this. Let's do this with some class. Okay. So first of all, we have to remember if you are building your business, especially on social media, um, there are some of us that are um, branding ourselves online. We're leading with us. We're working with curiosity and attraction marketing. So when we change a business or company, that makes it a little bit easier because Everything happens in the back door, okay? Everything happens back there that the front of social media and your shining face, people don't necessarily see that, okay? So that's a big uh, plus of why I truly and strongly believe we need to lead with you and you be the shining star of your business because people do business with 
you, not always necessarily with your company. Your company's a side benefit because they just want to be around and work with you, okay? So always be transparent. Start with the very first homework is um, I'm going to give you some classy tips first, and then I'm going to share some tips that you should maybe contemplate before you do anything, um, either good or bad, one of the two. So first of all, you should always start with that conversation with your leader, okay? So talk with the person that you signed up with and express your true, transparent, real, honest things that are going on with you in your world, in your gut, okay? If they are really your friend and they love you, they're going to understand. And if they're a smart business person, they're not going to burn any bridges, okay? And if they start being all dramatic and they start laying the blame, um, well, maybe they didn't love you as much as you, you thought they did. Maybe they didn't have your best interests at heart. So remember that part. But don't create a lot of unnecessary drama. Don't plaster it on Facebook. Oh, I quit that job and they were horrible. Don't burn bridges. Don't be negative. Don't be drama. Be the better woman. Be the classier person and do the right things um, that you know you have to do if you're in business for the long term. We know we can't have behaviors like that, especially on social media. And we have to remember that it's, it's okay to change our minds. It's kind of like dating, you know, or we change our job several times. Sometimes we're, you know, we date three or four different people before we marry the one. So when you get to marry the one and you find the one that's the right fit, you know, then you know that this is it and you feel much more relaxed. You feel much more confident. Um, you know that it's the right thing for you. So, and that's okay. Remembering that, like I said, we have one life and we have to try to be happy. So um, so I make sure I covered everything on page one. And we have to make sure we have and remember that freedom, we have that power and the freedom of choice. We are in, in a free will world and it's okay to change our mind. I don't always eat vanilla ice cream. Sometimes I'm wild and crazy and I'll eat chocolate, okay? Or, you know, mint chocolate chip. And the ice cream person doesn't have a fit when I change my ice cream, okay? They happily serve me what I want, okay? So let's start with some to-dos. Let's maybe dig into some things we should do before we just jump ship, before we change our minds and try on a different company, remembering that sometimes people are also grieving, okay? Leaving a company sometimes isn't always because you want to, okay? Let's just remember this part too. Sometimes there's a lot of sorrow, Sometimes there's a lot of pain. Um, sometimes there's a lot of frustration that maybe we didn't want to leave that company, but it was going in a direction that in our heart and our gut that we couldn't go with, okay? So remember, sometimes people have to grieve a little and take a break before they start something new. They believe in the industry. They believe in this amazing profession, but it's okay actually to take a break. Like I took a break. I was without a primary company, um, a business, uh, for almost two years. You know, I yes, I was involved in affiliate marketing. I was invested in developing and educating myself, building some of my, um, of my own ebooks and like mini, mini courses and stuff like that. But I actually didn't have a primary business, what they call a primary company, for a long time. So it's okay to take a break. So the first homework, and this one actually come from my dad, you know, and he says, with any decision that you're making in your life, Roxanne, I want you to make three lists. My dad said, you need to make a list, Roxanne, of three things, the good things and the bad things and the ugly things. You know what? Because if we're going to blame somebody or something for some, you know, for it, we also have to remember we have to give them also credit. Okay? So you can't be all bitchy and kayai and moany over something and blame them if they've also given you some goodness. Okay? So you need to make a list of everything that is really good. What's going on? And what is bad, you know, what's kind of making you uh, do a little Elvis Presley snarl going on. And what is ugly, like what's making your eyeballs pop out of your head and frown or maybe causing you some tears. And balance those lists. Have a three list. You're good, bad, and ugly. You know, it's kind of like the Clint Eastwood Western, okay? So and then you have to, like, once you've done that, then you can have a little bit deeper understanding of what's really going on. You know, because to be honest, maybe did you really give it your all? Did you really 
um, dig into what was working and one what, what wasn't working? Is it deeper more than more than just the support or the training or your change of personal passions? Because something sparked new in your life. Um, are you truly just and admit to yourself? Are you addicted to the shiny object syndrome? Are you going screw? Up! And off you go in this direction. And then you're going to come back and go in that direction. Where are you going? Um, because something's shiny and new. So are you in business or are you a squirrel? Okay, and it's okay if you're a squirrel. You know, if, if you can have some fun and you're passionate and you're having a great time and you want to be the squirrel and you can make some money at it too and keep your friends, then do it, you know? Number two is making sure, are you excited when you still wake up? To be honest, when you wake up right now, are you excited? Are you passionate? Are you, do you know you have people reaching out to you? Do you know you have messages waiting for you? Do you know you have people to talk to? Okay, are you excited? Or are you feeling kind of like, oh my gosh, this is just one more thing I gotta do in my day. I gotta make some posts and share some things and I'm not getting any responses. Like what's going on in your world? Are you excited or are you kind of like, uh, you know? So. The thing is, it's like sometimes different companies have different marketing and business strategies. Are you within a business that is using a strategy that isn't maybe suited for your personality type? Um, I'm not gonna say skill set. I'm not gonna say, are, is your company in something that has a skill set that they're using that you don't have yet because you're in business, so therefore that means there's gonna be a learning curve and there's gonna be things to learn and you should be excited about that. Learning is an adventure. Learning is a joy, okay? That, that should excite you to learn new things. Learning creates challenges and challenges create growth and growth creates change and positive impacts within our life. So if they're working on a strategy that isn't a personality fit, that's entirely different than a skill set, okay? Skill sets can be learned, okay? So, and like I said, that's why I love leading with myself and attraction marketing and creating value because that creates the connection what happens on behind the scenes of roxanne so that that is important okay so when you're wanting to do some things like i said be transparent have those deeper connections be classy have conversations and if someone says hey you know i are you are you not with that person anymore or you're not with that company you can always say something just simply like, you know what, there was some changes going on and it just wasn't the right fit anymore. Um, and so I've been looking for a while for something that is a good fit for me. Maybe it was the right um, mentorship and leadership. Maybe it had the best, a better training and support system, or maybe they had a better uh, marketing style that fit within my personality type. Or, you know, maybe I'm going more toward this area of my life because my life has changed. I have some new passions. So it all depends on what's going on, right? So think about that. So anyway, I just wanted to share that out there with you guys because, I, like I said, I've had several conversations in the last couple days with some other girls asking me questions about what's going on within my personal business and asking questions like, you know, what is this all about? Like how, how can a person quit with class and courage when they want to make a change without being seen as a hopper or a jumper, um, you know, just, you know, bopping around like the Easter Bunny, okay? It's okay to have change in your life as long as it is positive and with enough reflection. Those are what I want to share. As always, if you guys did get some value, mash those emoticons for me. Tell me what you liked best about it. And by all means, if you are curious about the power of attraction marketing and understanding the balance and the fairness within all personality types, especially when it comes to social retail, especially when you don't have to be chasing your friends and family and you don't have to be hounding, um, you know, different groups and messages. Like there's just so much power when we take control with the right fit and when you finally feel like you're home, you know, and there's a lot more joy. And as you guys can see from my change in the last two months of how I'm showing up online, there's some, been some pretty darn significant, great, good changes going on with my world and my life. So I will see you guys on the sunny side of life tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm looking for more ideas. You guys, I love making live videos around your guys' questions and conversations, personal messages. I, you know, I always keep names safe, you know, but if you guys have something that's on your mind and you want me to dig into it, Ask me about it. I love it. I love digging in and asking and researching different things to answer your guys' 
um, struggles and trials and tribulations to help you guys leverage your loves and your passions forward. So I will see you on the sunny side of life tomorrow. Thanks guys for sharing my message forward if you got some value and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Night night guys.